ever wondered how to plan for a paper? This Prezi is designed to help you in the planning process. This Prezi will focus on creating a detailed plan, developing a drawing board, forming a working thesis, and finding patterns and relationships. Creating a detailed plan before writing the paper can save you a great deal of time. So, how much time should you allow? It is generally a good idea to start planning for a paper shortly after receiving the assignment guidelines. If you find that the first drafts of your papers are generally disjointed, it is likely that you plan too little. If you find yourself writing a paper a day before it is due, after planning for weeks, it is likely that you plan too much. The planning stage requires you to develop ideas, draw conclusions, support them with details, and connect everything in a logical manner. Your aim is to think about how you will communicate something about a subject to a particular audience of readers. As you begin to plan, make sure you can answer these questions. What is my topic? Who is my audience? Remember, you will be writing for instructors and classmates who are likely familiar with the subject but who need to be told what you make of it. Think about what you want readers to know or do after reading your work. What is my purpose? How can I present my subject to the audience in order to achieve my purpose? Once you have developed your ideas and drawn some conclusions, the next step is to create a working thesis, which will be temporary because not all of the information for your paper has been collected yet. As you collect and organize information, you will continually reevaluate and reformulate your working thesis statement. A thesis is an idea that is arguable or debatable and presents the main idea of a piece of writing. A simple thesis statement should focus on a central argument, narrow the scope of the argument, demonstrate the significance of the argument, and remain objective, that is, ground the thesis in evidence rather than mere opinion. Depending on the complexity of the paper and the argument, thesis statements can take many forms. With complex arguments, the thesis statement may be only one sentence. However, writers may require more than one sentence to adequately express the complex argument. Thesis statements vary depending on the type of paper. For example, expository, analytical, and argumentative. Understand the guidelines to determine what type of paper you are expected to write. Here is an example of how thesis statements vary depending on the type of paper. For expository papers, the thesis statement should outline the stages or processes the paper will explore. For example, to prevent the spread of infection, healthcare workers must use proper hand washing techniques. Here are strategies to help you develop a simple thesis statement. Identify your argument. Review your research and identify the major claims you want to make about the topic. Select the claims that will be the focus and will provide the organizational structure of the paper. Combine your major claims about the topic in a sentence that represents the argument of your paper. Keep in mind that once you have completed your paper, you will need to revisit the thesis to ensure it still matches the argument and structure of your paper. One of your tasks during the planning stage is to look for patterns and relationships in the information you have gathered. Categorize your information using keywords that you created during the gathering evidence stage, and then see which ideas can be combined or connected. Once you have organized your ideas into categories, arrange the ideas into a logical order. You then get a clearer idea of what your essay's main ideas will be and how your argument will unfold. This arrangement of information may be different from the final paper's argument. As your thesis statement develops, so will the structure of your paper, and vice versa, but that's okay. Changing and modifying your ideas and essay structure as you go is a natural part of the writing process. The next Prezi will walk you through constructing a paper outline. 